Your Smoke Master D coming at you again with another barbecue buyer's guide, this time to ugly drum smoker kits. All right, let's see what we can find out. All right, we're going to start off with some chapter times. You know, if you want to jump ahead to a certain part in this video, please do. Also, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Always trying to get out some good barbecue content for you. All right, and we're going to begin with this question why an ugly drum smoker i think that price is going to have a lot to do with it here i have the cotton gin um this is their most basic smoker and it is 885 dollars plus shipping okay which could easily be another one to two hundred dollars maybe more uh maybe less depending on where you live but yeah it is a little bit on the expensive side that way um, over here we have the bronco pro which is 850. you might be able to find one of these at a box store near you um, they usually carry only the regular bronco so the pro is is bigger and more expensive uh, so it could be uh, add a shipping cost in there as well perhaps depending on on which real retailer you go with there's price the other thing uh, involved is just the feeling of ownership of making your own smoker, I think, is attractive to a lot of people. Uh, the fact that you can make them in many different ways, you know, add different kind of things on there, wheels on the bottom if you want wheels, uh, the intakes in, different, in a different manner. And these kits that we're going to talk about are, you know, a, sort of a jumping off point. To get you started on making you know maybe your first one maybe you want to use a kit on your second or third but you know it's it's going to have the stuff that's going to make it so that you can get going with building one of these ugly drum smokers all right and why is this episode needed so there's a lot out there and when i say a lot even when you look at one of these kits that's got you know the stuff you need there's all of these uh upsells you know they're they're trying to so you know you see that 179 there on on the right see the 154.99 uh at the top of big papa's and then when you go to actually buy it you know there's all these other options about other stuff uh that you can get that that are more money this episode is going to try to help you more easily figure out, you know, which way is perhaps the best way, what's the best value, um, and, and hopefully uh, we can figure that out. All right, we've got maps here, and I'd like to show you the map of where these people are just because it can play in some to shipping. Now, Big Papa Smokers here, which is in Orange, California, I believe that uh, over a certain amount of which uh, their kits are over that amount is free shipping, so that's nice. Smokerplans.net is uh, near Rolla, Missouri, which is fairly central uh, to the United States, so um, I don't think that the shipping would be too different for any, any certain place. And then uh, up there near New York City, we have uh, UDSparts.com. So just keep these distances in mind for shipping. All right, and here we have initial prices. So I'm going to start with smokerplans.net over here. And they have the Super 55 drum smoker kit. The cost is $379, which is the highest base cost that we're going to see. Um, and we're going to have to decide, you know, is that worth it? Uh, shipping to me in North Carolina was another 35, so a total of 414. Uh, you know, you have to buy the drum, say it's $30, so that would be 444 uh, overall cost, perhaps. Plus, you know, you need tools and whatnot. If you have tools, it's great. If you don't, maybe you can borrow some from someone. Uh, maybe if they have experience, you don't, maybe that would be helpful too. Get a friend to help you out. All right, and now moving on to Big Papa Smokers. Uh, they have a kit that's $154.99. And they have another kit with a few more accessories. The accessories you see there uh, to the left and right 
So it's going to be that ash pan, the uh, brush, and the grill mat uh, that you can put the smoker on. So for those three extra things, uh, the new price is one eighty six ninety seven, and then you have free shipping. UDSparts.com is our third option, and they have even more different kits. Uh, and one thing that I want to make clear here is that I'm only looking at kits that do not include the drum. All right, so you can find several options where the drum is included. Uh, we're only looking at kits today that do not include the drum. And the first one for UDSparts.com is this complete parts kit, which is 179. Uh, shipping to North Carolina was 1692. So this UDSparts.com, they give you many shipping options with many different prices. I chose the cheapest one. You know, will it get there in a week, two weeks, maybe? Um, but that's that lowest price. Uh, so all together, you know, it would be 209.63. And then for the heavy duty UDS parts kit, 208, uh, and then 1688 shipping, 240, 62. And then the ultimate long tube and laser cut kit is 341, um, and then 4056 shipping to to North Carolina where I'm at, um, and that is 408.27. And one last thing for UDSparts.com, uh, we're going to be labeling them throughout the rest of this episode as numbers one, two, and three. So on all the subsequent slides, when we look at the things in them, if it's labeled a number one, it goes with the uh, kit that's 179, number two, the one that's uh, 208, and number three, the one that has a base price of 341. All right. So let's get going. So fire baskets or nests, uh, I wanted to start with them first because they are one of the most important parts of this kit. We look at smokerplans.net. Um, they have an ash catch, which is attached. Uh, and the sidewall there is going to be 16 gauge. The grate is going to be 12 gauge. Again, remember that gauges the lower the number, the thicker the steel. So the idea that being there for this one is that you want to have a thicker uh, grate that the charcoal is going to be sitting on. When you have smokers like this, the grates and the fire boxes, uh, and, and in this case, the fire baskets are what's going to go first. And the reason for that is uh, they're in contact with the greatest amount of heat. Um, and also because of the ash. Wood ash is alkaline and therefore it is corrosive. And that is a problem that's compounded if there's any moisture in it. It, it just makes the ions, I think, maybe float more freely, do their thing more to break and corrode things down. Uh, so you definitely want to keep that fire basket dry. Uh, and want some thicker steel there. And, and the other thing about thick steel is that it holds on to temperature and feeds it back. So it, um, it helps keep the fire going. You know, it evens out the spikes. Uh, thicker metal does that all around. And in the firebox, it's a good place to do it too. So 16 gauge body, 12 gauge, great for the smokerplants.net. Big Papa Smokers is using. Uh, a very different kind of design here with uh, sort of this cage uh, steel rod. Um, the regular charcoal nest that they have has a sidewall that's thicker uh, than the bottom. It's 2.5 millimeters, which is about 12 gauge. And then the bottom at 2 millimeters is about 14 gauge. Okay. So... Um, then if we go to their beefy stainless steel charcoal nest, four millimeters all the way around, which is eight gauge rod. And I don't really know what to think about the difference between these two designs because, uh, you know, when you have uh, more of a plate rather than a rod, do you have more steel compared to the rod being thicker? 
uh, you know, the joints between these rods, how, how well are they connected? I guess I, I would wonder. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure that this beefy stainless steel charcoal nest is going to last a while. Uh, probably the regular one too, but less, less time, obviously. Uh, but those are the kind of things that I'm thinking about when I look at these. We go to udsparts.com. Uh, numbers one and two are this, uh, this variety that we have here. The ash catch is attached on the bottom. So like we said before, the Papa, uh, Big Papa Smokers, it's the uh, upcharge on their kit to get that ash pan. But uh, all the other ones have, you know, built-in ash pans. I called uh, Island Outdoors, I believe is the name of the company that owns UDSparts.com. And I talked to a woman in uh, that answers the phone. She told me that uh, she didn't have the information of steel thickness, that she had to contact the warehouse. Uh, I left my number and my name, and she did not call me back. So uh, I, cannot, I cannot tell you the thickness of a fire basket. If we look at number three, though, we can see how, how thick that is. Uh, Lava Lock laser cut 12 by 12 by 12, 11 gauge steel. Okay, so when we look at these, we see that the smokerplans.net is um, one of the thinner ones. Uh, you know, um, the beefy stainless steel charcoal nest is thicker. Of course, the rod design, uh, I've already told my thoughts on that. Um, we don't know about uh, the, the top one from udsparts.com. And the number three, the Lava Lock Laser Cut, uh, has fairly thick steel with that 11 gauge. Um, all of these will last you a while, but none of them are going to last forever. So, you know, um, you just have to make your decision. All right, and then we have heat shields. So, uh, smokerplans.net is the only one that comes with a heat shield. Okay, now you can purchase one from the uh, udsparts.com, and the the shield that you see there is thirty nine dollars. Now, why would you want a heat shield? So, really, the most important thing that they do is protect the drum and the paint job um, on the bottom part of the drum where it's hottest. So that excess heat down there. Uh, you know, it's going to gonna wear a lot on the drum in, in its closest uh, proximity. And, uh, you know, if you want that paint to stay the way that you want it, instead of bubbling and wearing off, having one of these shields could be really important to you. The Big Papa Smokers, they don't offer one at all. Uh, and it's, it's probably not the biggest deal. You know, um, so the shields, they will restrict airflow a little bit. You notice that they have uh, some holes there at the bottom to make sure that the air gets through. So those are important. You know, you might want to try your, your UDS with one in, with one out. Uh, see if there is much of a difference in performance. Um, and, you know, it depends on how... How particular you are about your paint job you know if you're just using flat black and you can just put some more on there you know every year or so maybe it's not the biggest deal to you but if you're using really expensive paint you have a really nice paint job maybe you are going to be more particular about having the shield all right and here we've got the racks uh so from the smokerplans.net uh, very basic sort of rack there. Um, you see that opening there at the bottom right? That is so you can fit a gloved hand in where that uh, opening is to, to lift it out of the uh, drum. Uh, you know, you're probably not going to have too much food there. Uh, slight risk of something falling through if you're cooking something uh, small, but uh, not too big of a risk. Now, in the middle, we have the Big Papa Smokers. Uh, that uh, rack that you see there has the two lines across, so it might be a little bit more stable. Has uh, the handles, 
So, uh, you know, you can grab it from each side if you're wanting to lift it out uh, with with something on it. I think that might be a little bit more difficult if you have uh, the the smokerplans.net rack um, just lifting through with one hand um, as it, it appears to have only one hand hole. Uh, now, the beefy stainless steel grill grate is $69.95. And one of the strange things about their website uh, with Big Papa Smokers is that the price is $69.95 if you add it on, whether you get it as an upgrade. So when you, you click it, you know, it, it offers you upgrades. And $69.95 is the cost. But just buying it separately by itself is also $69.95. Um, I don't know exactly if they switch it out. If if you do the upgrade, if they still give you the original rack too. Um, but if they don't, that's really kind of a bad deal. And it would be worth your while to just get the regular kit and then buy uh, the beefy stainless steel grill grate as an add-on. Uh, because you'd be losing out and having that other rack. So something to keep in mind. Uh, when we go to UDSparts.com, option one there at the top, uh, rather basic looking rack, uh, you know, it has those two bars across the middle. It's going to offer a little bit more stability there. Uh, option two is stainless steel. It has a grid sort of thing going on. Uh, probably a lot of stability in that rack it has the handles. So, you know, if you want to lift it up out of the, uh, the cooker, uh, you can do that a little bit more easily. Um, which, you know, if you're putting charcoal in and there's not a lot of times when you're going to want to add charcoal just to add charcoal. Uh, now maybe something like, uh, you know, a little, some little wood chunks to add a little bit more smoke. If you wanted to lift out the food, maybe uh, a grate that, that has handles like that could be helpful there again. Uh, but it looks like, you know, with that grid design, rather stable. And then we have the uh, heaviest one down here, option three. Um, so option three kit, uh, and that is laser cut, uh, lava lock. I don't, I don't actually care a whole lot for this kind of design. Uh, because I like to do smoking more than grilling or searing. The thing about something that heavy duty is um, it will last a long time, but being that it's not as close to the firebox and so much heat, it's not going to wear out uh, too quickly anyway. So, you know, the firebox itself is, is a whole different matter. But the uh, the rack is further away from that. And when you have a rack and you're, you're doing smoking, you want to leave the surface of your meat open to receiving smoke. <laughs> um, so my philosophy is uh, less is more when it comes to racks. You want it to, to stay together, to, to hold what you put on it. But um, I... I don't like the laser cut thing. Now, if you are going to do some searing, uh, you know, that's that would be a different story. Um, and maybe some people do do searing in their ugly drum. Uh, grilling, you know, a rack like that is good. But for an ugly drum smoker, I would not. Uh, I would not want that rack particularly. That's just me. You know, I'm sure there's other people out there with other opinions. If you want to share those other opinions in the comments, feel free to do so. As long as you're civil, I'll leave them in there. <laughs> All right. And now we've got air intakes. So um, smokerplans.net has low profile air intakes, what they call them. Uh, they uh, have a a pinwheel damper at the top of a shaft that you put on the sides of the drum. Um, if you have a ribbed drum, there's a little bit more work that you have to do to, to make them fit over the rib. Uh, there's a video on how to, to make all of that work uh, that you can watch on their website. So, um, you know, if, if you do get 
the smokerplans.net kit. Uh, that is something that you would probably do well to, to look into. Now, Big Papa smokers, they use slide dampers, and you can see examples there. Looks like uh, perhaps stainless steel. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. But, um, yeah, it looks like you have uh, some bolt holes on either side. You're going to have to cut a hole, and uh, the slide's going to go over it and come back out. Uh, of course, you're going to have to cut a hole for, for all of these, actually. Um, you know, so there's going to be some tools that you're going to need for that. And, and this show isn't really about that. Um, I am going to hopefully make uh, another show in which I build uh, one of these ugly drum smokers. So, uh, you know, keep tuned for that. And, and maybe you'll see more about that whole process in that episode. UDSparts.com is going to be the last option. And uh, one and a half air inlets pre-curved is what it says there. Uh, and then 1.5 inch flange mount air inlets. I think that these are the same things. So I looked at both kits. They look very similar. Um, I, if there is a difference, I couldn't tell what it is. You know, when they wrote it up, one, they put one and a half inch. The other, they put 1.5 inch, but they look like the same thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, kind of like little stubs off the bottom of your smoker. Uh, you know, you need that air to be right there where the firebox is. So it's going to be the bottom. And then number three is the most different. So it's going to be those upright intakes. So there's pipes. Uh, and you've probably seen a lot of pictures of smokers that have that. Uh, I think that it looks cool, you know, maybe elegant. I don't know what, uh, what you want to describe it as. But I like the aesthetics of the upright intakes. Um, obviously, from a practical standpoint, um, they're going to be up where your hands are and not at the bottom, uh, like the big popper smokers. The smokerplans.net um, low profile air intakes are going to be a bit higher, so that's going to be easier easier for you to get to. Um, so depends on what your preferences are. Uh, I, I like the design of the upright intakes, though. All right. And now stack exit damper. So we have the smokerplans.net flanged uh, top stack. So flanging is just kind of that lip around it. So the lip helps to keep so that you um, you don't have any air escaping when you close something. Uh, that's, that's what a flanging does. So uh, nice octagonal uh, flanging up top. Uh, I think it'll work pretty well. For the big Papa smokers, uh, you have a top vent there. It looks like it is some kind of stainless steel, though I don't think they mentioned that uh, specifically. But um, yeah, you're going to have to drill out, you know, X number of holes there uh, that w can be closed up by that damper. And you have that uh, turn wheel sort of style. For uh, the UDSparts.com, you have two different kinds. Uh, for smokerplans.net, it's only bolts on, but there's a 3 to $5 upcharge for bolts on for UDSparts.com. Now, the one strange thing about it is one of the kits, I think maybe it was number two, uh, it was the other way around, and it was bolt on, and it was an upcharge for the screw in one. The thing about these uh, drums is that they have usually a top cap, and you take that cap off, and it has the threading there to uh, screw something in. So really, if, if you have that in the drum that you have, uh, the, the screw-in version is very, a very easy way, easier than drilling holes and then bolting something on. So, uh, you know, that could be a really good option. Now, is that hole exactly where you want it to be? So, you know, when they were designing those drums, they weren't thinking about drum smokers. Um, and that's is what it is. And you just have to work with that. Uh, of course, you decide where it is if you use the bolt on method. A heat diffuser is something that is also not entirely necessary. Uh, but when you use one, it kind of limits the direct heat cooking of the drum smoker. 
Um, but the trade-off is that it even out, evens out the temperatures, uh, you know, side to side and, and top to bottom, especially with some of these designs that kind of make the air swirl a little bit more. If you look at the smoker plans, not net one, you see it has a kind of a swirl design. So hopefully that heat is, is going up in a swirl pattern uh, and circling the meat above. So uh, hopefully it's going to even out temps side to side and top to bottom. Now, do you absolutely need one? No. Uh, the distance, you know, from the fire to the rack or the hanging also helps uh, even out heat, you know, the, as the air rises. When it gets caught on the top, you know, it, it also sort of makes it a little bit hotter in the top side. Um, and then you have the radiant heat below. So there's, there's an evening effect between those two. Uh, but a lot of people do like these. Uh, of course, there's a, a possibility of them slowing down airflow. So, you know, um, one thing about this smokerplans.net one is that it has tabs. Uh, and I believe that may be the same with the sickle design over on the UDS uh, parts.com. But um, the tabs make it so that you can pull the tabs back up and, and make it less direct heat or pull them down for more direct heat. So a little bit more control as far as that goes. Now, smokerplans.net is actually the only kit in, in all the ones we're going to talk about that comes with a heat diffuser. So Big Papa Smokers, no heat diffuser. Uh, all, all numbers one, two, and three for udsparts.com, no heat diffuser. But UDSparts.com sells a plethora of things. <laughs> they sell many more things uh, than either of the, the other two. And so they do sell heat diffusers separately. And that sickle design is $25.90. The pinwheel design, so you can actually, there's a, a slide below the metal there that you can sort of decide how much uh, direct heat you want. You can make it fully open. You can close it down uh, just depending on what you're doing. Play around with it. Uh, just kind of like the tab thing with the swirl patterns. Lastly, we have that 10 gauge heat diffuser with the holes. So it's pretty much what it is. Uh, it's going to last a long time, though, with that thick steel. That's why it's $56. And, um, you know, I uh, can't really change what it does, but it will do the job pretty well. And with being that close to the firebox, these things do have the potential of wearing out a little bit sooner than other parts. So the thick steel is a good option there too. All right, and now we've got hinges and hanging for lids. And we're gonna start with smokerplans.net. We've got uh, their hinge. You can see that it has um, a lot of clearance there um, around, sort of built out around so that it will clear getting that lid up. If you have the hinge like right on the drum uh, and, and right there where it meets the lid, it's just not going to work quite as well. So you have to have to build it around like that. Now, uh, Big Papa Smokers, they do not offer one with their kit. They do, however, sell a hinge, and you can see it down there for $56.99. Uh, and Ugly Drum Smokers, the UD, uh, UDSparts.com, they also do not include a hinge with any of their kits either, though they do include a lid hook for number two. And you can see that pictured up in the top right of the screen. So it's just a hook, you know, you take the lid off and you kind of hang it there while you're doing whatever you want to do on the rack or, you know, if you take the rack out to get down to the, the firebox below. Then we have the ones that they offer separately from the kits. They have uh, that pretty standard looking one that's probably very similar to the smokerplans.net uh, up there. The first option for 11 gauge steel is going to be $25.90 for 7 gauge. And remember that the lower the number for the gauge, the thicker the steel. So for 7 gauge, it's going to be $29.90. So uh, maybe that'll last a, a little bit longer. 
the for their second option they have a stainless one with a quick release pen and that is 46.99 and then lastly they have a spring assist hinge that is 52.99 which hopefully that will open you know even more easily than than all the other ones which makes it you know the most expensive and now we have handles so smokerplans.net has a lift handle again it's kind of goes up and over so it gives you more room to get your hand on it uh and it has uh that bar with the spring so the spring is going to keep that part from getting hot so you should be able to take that spring in your bare hands and just open it up uh and and the heat won't transfer to the spring because of the air between it and the metal and the contact of the metal. The side handles there, you've got those two pieces and you, you put them on the barrel, you put the uh, pin in between with the uh, spring over it. And there you have uh, side handles. If you want to pick the barrel up while you're smoking, you could. Big Papa Smokers has three uh, wood on metal handles there. So you see how the wood, and the wood is going to do similar things. Uh, wood, you know, it's a, it's insulative is is the word for it. Wood insulates, and so you can use those handles uh, without a lot of risk for burning yourself too. UDSparts.com they only offer a lid handle, and you see that pictured there. Uh, they're all the same for, for all of them. So you can pick the lid up with that handle there. You can bolt it on to the top of uh, the, the lid. And there aren't any side handles. So they do sell side handles even more than I'm showing you here. But uh, those side handles there are $37.99. And uh, that weld-on handle is $105. So really cheap if you want a handle obviously that thing's going to get hot um you can buy the spring separately so if you really wanted a spring on that thing uh to to pick it up while you're cooking you could you could do that um you have to know a little bit about welding uh if you don't you know that that handle's probably not for you but yeah very cheap um bent bent rod for you to weld on as a handle all right, and now we've got some temp gauges. So we've got uh, three inches by four inch stem as a temp gauge for smokerplans.net. Uh, three inch face by four inch stem for big papa smokers. Interestingly enough, they have sort of a sideways gauge, so it's not just sticking straight. Um, the orientation, you can notice, is, is different. I like that. Is it more helpful because it's orientated differently? I don't know, but I it gives it a little bit of difference than what else you see. And that's all I can really say about it. Now for numbers one and two here, you have the TH258 uh, thermometer, it has a uh, face that is two inches and three sixteenths. So not a whole lot smaller than these other ones. Um, and a stem that is one and three eighths inches. So very much smaller stem, uh, which could mean it doesn't have a, a temperature reading quite as good. Um, you know, you get that longer stem in, it's, it's uh, in contact with more hot air. It's gonna give you a better idea of the temperature. Now, uh, the three inch by four inch stem uh, for the lava lock for number three, very similar to the other two. A lot of people don't uh, rely on on these temperature gauges that much. A lot of people use digital temperature uh, monitoring. Uh, I use the meter now and it has its own little temperature uh, probe outside of, of it. It's wireless. Um, even people who use wired ones, they'll stick an extra probe in there and put it on the grate. Uh, just so it's right next to the meat. You have to, you know, think about how you want to use uh, temperature monitoring and what you're doing as to whether you really care a whole lot about these gauges. 
which um, a lot of them aren't the most accurate or relative to the temperature you're trying to cook at. So you have to take, take that as it is. And now we're on to extras. And smokerplans.net doesn't have any extras, so you don't have to think about extras there. Um, for the big papa smokers, we have three. We have a bottle opener, just because, you know, if you want to sit out while it's doing its thing, uh, you don't have to really monitor these things that much. But if you want to be outside while it's cooking, uh, you know, throw back uh, a drink, uh, a beverage that requires you to get that cap off. There you go. Uh, charcoal nest hook. I actually really like this thing. Um, just the idea that you can have a, a lit nest and take it out. Um, if I were going to be using it, I would try to get some sort of can that I could put the uh, nest into to smother the flames, close it all off. And that nest hook would be the perfect thing for it. Now, there is the tool hook and shield, right? So it kind of has the badging there. I like the badging, the hook part. Uh, I don't know if I, I usually have uh, when I'm smoking or cooking, I'll have some sort of table nearby where I put whatever I want to put. Uh, I, I don't hang a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't have hangers. So maybe if I had one of these things, it, I would hang, you know, something more, more often. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how, how much utility you're going to get from hanging on those hooks. All right. And now we've got the extras for UDSparts.com. We're starting off with number one there. It's going to be that soft tape measure, uh, which could be really helpful in figuring out where you want your holes on the drum. Now, um, from what I can gather, it's only with uh, number one. Uh, might they include it in numbers two and three? Uh, well, they don't put that on their description, so I can't say for certain. Um, let's go down to the bottle opener. So just like the one that we saw with Big Papa Smoker, except it doesn't have any sort of badging or logo on it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be great for opening up those drinks. And it's included with all three of the kits uh, for uh, numbers two and three. You've got leak sealer. Uh, so when you're putting different metal pieces together, sometimes... You know, depending on how much flanging you have, depending on how well that metal is connecting, uh, you may have leaks. And having a sealant can be a great thing to make sure that all those leaks are, uh, you know, sealed up and that you're not, you're not having uh, air get into the, the fire basket that you don't want in there. And you're not going to have, you know, smoke uh, escaping or heat escaping where you don't want it. So some leak sealant can be a great thing. And the gasket works uh, the same way, and it's coming with numbers one, two, and three as well. Usually you're going to put that up where the lid meets uh, the top rim of the barrel. Uh, you know, you can either put it um, on the lid itself or on the, the top rim. It doesn't really matter which, uh, as long as you get that good seal. There's uh, the tool hook, so numbers one and two. Not three. I don't know why uh, it's not listed there. So uh, very much like the one that we saw from Big Papa Smokers, that probe grommet is going to be uh, for running a probe in. you got to cut a hole uh, pretty much right above where you're going to have your rack. And it's going to seal up around uh, the edges of that hole and stick that probe through there, get it to your meat. Uh, if you're running wired probes, it's a good thing to do. I have a wireless probe, so I probably wouldn't bother with it. But uh, a lot of people like the wires. Now, the last one, number three, comes with four rib hooks. But it uh, doesn't mention anything about a hanger, which is very strange. Uh, I don't know where they think you're going to hang these hooks. Uh, maybe they're shooting for an upsell. Uh, at any rate, it doesn't seem like a, a super great thing to me, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that they would include something that you can't really use with uh, the kit and, and the stuff that they've provided. So, yeah, no, not so great. All right. Hardware. 
Smokerplans.net shows this lovely picture of these screws and, and whatever else the, are there. I think they might be rivets. Um, and it says that all hardware is included. Uh, for Big Papa smokers, it says that it includes everything you need. And interestingly enough, it has a step drill bit in the picture, which you see it, it kind of looks like a little cone-shaped pyramid, I guess. And the way you use that is, um, you know, you're drilling a hole through and each step is a set um, diameter. Um, so you can figure out how many steps you want to go up to get the size hole that you want. Now, UDSparts.net uh, was the most strange. Number three there, it says most hardware. Number one uh, says that the hardware pack, some additional hardware may be necessary. And further down on the page, you will need to find 1.5 inch long bolts to mount the cooking grate. Um, this kind of oversight is, is strange. Um, did it come about because of shortages during the pandemic um, and supply chain issues? Maybe, I don't know. But it's uh, not a good look, in my opinion. Uh, you know, all inclusive. If you're buying a kit, you want you want all the stuff. <laughs> you know, you want enough to to make it so that it works. And if they don't send that with it, and they expect you to go down to your local hardware store to get some bolts, um, yeah, I I don't like it. Don't like that part. Maybe they'll change it soon. All right, and now let's take a look at the upgrades. So looking at number one from UDSparts.com, we see that they have uh, several options here. HD slotted grate. I think that that is, uh, you know, like the laser cut one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but that would be 35. Bolt-on smoke stack instead of uh, the screw-in one, $3.00. Uh, the long tube intakes, uh, which, you know, I've said before that I like, $62. Uh, the um, HD grate plus the bolt-on stack, $38. Uh, and HD grate and bolt-on stack and long tubes, $97. Upgrade to HD grate and long tubes, $94. Uh, bolt-on stack and long tubes, $62. So really with all these options, you can kind of get what you want, right? Mix and match. Have it your way, right? <laughs> uh, and if we go to number two, you're going to see that there's a lot of options as well. Long tube intakes, uh, 69. Weld on kit, only $2. So you just want to do some welding if you have welding equipment. Uh, threaded smokestack. So this is the crazy one where instead of bolt on, it's an upcharge to go the other way for $5. Uh, long tube intake plus a weld on kit 69. Long tube intake, weld on kit optional threaded smokestack 74. Long tube intake two piece and optional threaded smokestack 74. Uh, make it a weld kit and have the threaded smokestack seven. A lot of weird, strange, uh, different combinations there. Now, Number three has the least, bolt-on stack or threaded. Uh, I guess they've considered that everything is as upgraded as they can, so why would you want to go the other direction? Plus, you can go to the previous numbers for, for any sort of combination below this. Uh, so yeah, just bolt-on for five. And then Big Papa's has their upgrades too. Now, everything that I've already shown you, I, I didn't include the picture. Uh, I included the pictures of things that you haven't seen yet. But um, like I said before, with the nest, the beefy nest of stainless steel and the beefy stainless steel grill grate, $76.95 and $69.95. And those prices are additional. And if you bought it separately, it'd be the same price, which made me wonder about, you know, whether you would get uh, the regular of those two items along with it. And I don't know the answer to that. If you do, comment below. Uh, the ash catcher, we've seen it. It's just a plate that attaches to the nest. Uh, the guru adapter, okay? So you would put that into the slide. 
uh, for you know the air intake slides and uh, you could set up your guru that way they've got a cover for 39.95 they've got a side table and i like side tables uh yeah i would i would certainly think of about doing a side table there uh, 50 bucks uh the cleaning brush we've seen before comes with that one uh kit that they have the barbecue mat we've also seen for eighteen dollars there this grill grate great tongs has uh three uh tines on either side apparently it's really great 23.99 um why exactly it's better than other tongs i'm not sure uh maybe that design is really good uh there's also a grill grate for the drum smoker 20 inch 116.99 if you're looking to get a sear on this thing, uh, I guess that would be where it is. Of course, you don't have that heat shield for your paint job. So uh, just lighting up with an open lid and, and getting that uh, grill grate really hot could do damage that way. I don't know if they were thinking about that. Yeah. All right, and now we're gonna take a continued look at pricing. I priced out uh, the various things that are there. Now, the idea for these kits is that buying them together, uh, you're going to get some sort of slight discount. But these are the prices that you would pay if you were getting them separately. So uh, $56.95 for the Nest, $24.95 for that ash pan, $24.95 for the cooking grate. It is nickel plated. Uh, $26.95 for those slides, which... Uh, yeah, if you get two, that's a lot. They do say on their page, though, that they're meant to be sold with the kit. So maybe that $26.95 is more than what they really should be. I don't know. $16.95 for uh, that top damper. It is not stainless steel, or at least it didn't say that it was stainless steel. Now, these handles, uh, the metal there is stainless steel. Those are $10.95 a piece, so three. Um, you have the thermometer for $18.95, the three hooks and uh, shield there for $16.95, the bottle cap opener for $6.95, the nest hook that I like so much for $3.95, which is not bad, and uh, $17.99 for that mat, and $15.99 for the grill brush. You add all of that together, and it's $291.33 which is, uh, you know, uh, more than $100 difference from the $186.97 for this kit, plus the free shipping. So, um, you know, and, and I really wanted to put in where the stainless steel was just to see if that was, you know, kind of part of it. Now, nickel plating also is, is a cost. Uh, it's not as much stainless steel as I thought it would be. Uh, but maybe there's a little bit more, especially, you know, th the thermometer, maybe. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. And and this analysis can't really tell us entirely what the margins are on these things. Uh, but hopefully it'll give us a little bit of an idea. Now, the charcoal basket over here on the UDSparts.com, $49.95, uh, the uh, rack is $16.00. $24.89 for the air intakes, $14.89 for the threaded stack, $20 for the uh, lid handle, six seventy nine dollars 79 for the thermometer, $2.99 for um, soft tape uh, that you can use to measure where you're putting your holes, uh, the hooks, $26.95, which that's a... Uh, that's kind of expensive, more expensive than um, Papa Smokers one uh, just across the way. We've got uh, $24.99 for the gasket and $6.99 for that bottle opener. Now, the strange thing about this is some of these prices are what was listed on the kits page for what the values were. You see the, the bottle opener there. It was three fifty for on sale. So strangely enough, it seems like there's a lot of sales going on on the website, and I'm not entirely sure how it decides how much to put things on sale for. 
Uh, maybe it's some sort of program. I don't know. But uh, at any rate, the total of all this added up for these prices that I, I found was 194.44, which, you know, isn't a whole lot more than the 179 that it, it cost, right? Um, and you add on that shipping to me, it's 209.63. So um, really the price there is more than the value of all those separately, uh, in a sense, uh, when you take into account that Big Papa's has the free shipping. And so it seems on the face of it that Big Papa's kit is a better deal. Uh, now, the one thing about that is they sell more kits uh, than UDSparts.com, which sells more stuff individually. So, you know, I'm not entirely sure if that makes a big difference in this, this analysis. Um, you know, they're both going to give you some pretty good barbecue. Uh, it seems like there's more stainless steel in the Big Papa's and more beefy kind of carbon steel over here in, in the UDSparts.com. Um, you know, I like a stack better. So it has it that going forward in my estimation. So um, that's where I'm going to leave it for now. All right. One thing that I want to throw out here just before we get going with these two is that Frank Cox, who owns uh, smokerplans.net, did reach out to me about this video, asking me to do it, actually. And he has offered to send me one of these Super 55 drum smoker kits. Uh, that has not influenced any of these numbers. You can go check them on the website. You know, uh, I try to be unbiased. Uh, these numbers are what uh, what they are. Um, so go double check them if you don't uh, think that I'm being fair. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say that from all honesty. Um, and this is uh, the breakdown that I found. All right. And now uh, we're going to break down the Super 55 drum smoker kit and the ultimate long tube and laser cut kit, which is number three from UDS Parts. 379 plus shipping gets it to 414 for me. 341 plus shipping 408.27. So they're very close, very close. Uh, the one problem in this kind of breakdown is that smokerplans.net, they don't sell any of these pieces individually. So I have prices for the edsparts.com side, but no prices uh, on the other side. Um, but when we do look at the other side, you know, UDSparts.com, we see $74.99 for the charcoal basket. It's a fairly expensive one. $54.99 for the laser cut uh, grate. $83.99 for those uh, upright intakes. Uh, $14.89 for the stack. $20 for the handle. Um, and I, I had to look on Amazon for a price for that uh and it was $24.99 when you go down to the bottom you get those extras $5.99 for the grommet $5.45 for the rib hooks $24.99 for the gasket $3.50 like we said before for that um bottle opener and $8.49 for the sealant now when you add all of that up it, it comes out to $322.27 which is actually less than the 341, uh, which is the price. Now, the hardware, which I abbreviated down there, costs something, but it's hard to imagine that it costs uh, the entirety of the difference, besides the fact that we're supposed to be getting, you know, some something of a deal uh, by buying things as a kit. So the the pricing on this kit is very strange to me. Uh, and on the face of it, again, it doesn't look like it's a deal. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, uh, um, I've gotten the numbers wrong somehow, uh, is the way that they're, uh, you know, giving discounts on the parts themselves, uh, what's making this, this bizarre, uh, thing happen. I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange to think that the kit is not actually giving you a discount. Um, but the other thing that we were going to do 
is on this next page, we're going to take a look at the parts that are a difference between them. They're not, you know, or apples to apples that way. So if you were going to add on the parts that uh, udsparts.com kit does not have that smokerplans.net's kit does, uh, what would that number be? And if you're going to take away the things that the US, smokerplans.net doesn't have, what would those numbers be? So you see that shield there, the heat shield is $39. The um, hinge is $25.90 uh, for udsparts.com. The uh, heat diffuser, $25.90. The side handles, $37.99. Sealant, $849. Grommet, $599. Rib hooks, $545. Uh, gasket, $24.99. And the bottle opener, $350. When you add all of that up, um, the total of those parts, uh, first the parts that aren't included, um, in the udsparts.com would be 128.79. Uh, then when we take off uh, all the extras that they have, um, you come down to 80.37, right? So you subtract the sealant, the grommet, the rib hooks. Um, that would be 80.37 difference. So, and then when you look at the difference between the base prices, it's $38. So, overall, it's around $42 advantage from going to smokerplants.net than going to udsparts.com. So, um, it's a lot of numbers, but the numbers are seeming to say that smokerplans.net has a better deal than... Uh, UDSparts.com and the, these two specific kits. Now, can you take all these as direct comparisons? Even if we go back to the other page and, and like, you know, is the basket the same, you know, equivalence, equivalencies? Uh, it's, it's really hard to say. It may be closer than that. But, um, you know, when you look at what's included, what's not included, it, it does seem like you're getting a slightly better deal at smokerplans.net. That's what the numbers are telling me. All right, my thoughts. I think smokerplans.net has a good kit that has pretty much everything you could want. Um, so as, as far as being a full package, I think that it could be really uh, a good choice for a lot of people. Uh, Big Papa Smokers, there's... Uh, a lot of things that I like uh, and a few things I don't, you know, the the top exhaust, not a huge fan of it. Um, the the nest is super open, which, you know, allows a lot of air in. But at the same time, it's not going to protect the sides of your your drum and your paint job at all. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, but will it work? Yeah. Does it have a certain amount of uh, charm? Uh, aesthetically. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and then UDSparts.com, I think they have so many different parts, uh, a lot of options. So, you know, if really deciding which different things you want on your smoker is, is your thing, that could be good for you. You know, um, I already said that I like the upright tubing. Uh, but yeah, just for like, any and everything that you could want to trick out your drum smoker, they've got it. So, you know, even if I didn't go for uh, with them for a kit, they're the kind of company that I would definitely think about getting some mods or, or some different stuff for my smoker. So, uh, you know, I like all three of these companies. And those are my thoughts. But you have your own thoughts, and I'd love to hear them. And uh, if you have any of these smokers, please do review them uh, in the comments as well. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. And uh, as always, go get your smoke.